Put it on the altar. Wait, what? What? There's not room on the altar. Did I fucking stutter? So I wanted to share a really easy way to make a flower crown. I'm gonna start with the longest stem that you have. Put the flower alongside it and go through. Boop. So it's just like that. Now, another one, same side. And you just go to the, up the side of the flower head. a long rope of dandelion and fold them together like this. Now you can put the stems together in the back and a couple dandelions and do the same thing and just tuck them into the braid to secure it. Use any flower. It's super simple. Karen, I'm telling you, she worships the devil. We need the church. Where are my bay leaves? I know I put them somewhere. I swear the fae. standing on a table. I'm practically the backbone of this damn establishment. I stand where I want, when I want. Here. Just tell me where the spider is, Athena. It's under the couch. Kill it, please. Her <laughs> family is dysfunctional. Remember that Zeus got a woman pregnant, but she burned to death, so he rescued the fetus from her ashes and sewed it to his thigh, gave birth to it himself, and the fetus is now the god of wine and sexual deviancy. <laughs> My great aunt stabbed her husband in the stomach on their anniversary, and he decided not to divorce her because he didn't want a custody battle over the goats. Okay, who wins that one? <laughs> Hermes, has anyone ever told you they love you? Hephaestus, does my mom count? Hermes, yeah. Then no. <laughs> I have actual wings to escape creep with your son. Oh, mate is fine. No, it isn't. It is if your son isn't an idiot. <laughs> Zeus really gives a whole new meaning to we're all God's children. <laughs> Certain things you just can't refuse She wanna ride me like a cruise And I'm not trying to lose Then you're left in the dust Unless I stuck by ya you. You're a sunflower I think I'm just excited to see my lord and savior Baphomet represented in such glorious Italian stone I do hope his eyes gaze upon me and that my allegiance is recognized I don't know Notice me senpai, notice me Today I'm gonna vibe check my house. My room's fine, as expected. Hallway's good. The bathroom, good. Vibe check. You pass. Kitchen passes. Fun fact, this is where my grandpa died. All right. I hate my basement for a reason, because the energy is whack as shit, so let's see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All of those boxes hold porcelain dolls. Hmm. You didn't pass! You didn't pass! Oh, look who controls all the islands. It's the Mahajapit. Majahapit. Mapajahit. Mahapajit. Mapajahit. Majapahit. Zeus watching humans panic over the coronavirus. Apollo, what the fuck? Apollo. Oops, my hand must have slipped. Diana says, it's fine, look at them, they're still climbing. 
Swiss funeral. How can you say that? They're dying. Dwayne May says, it's just the boomers. It's fine. Hermes walking by. Boomer room over. Zeus. What? Apollo, Dwayne May and Hermes in unison. Boomer room over. Hades was the least evil entity in the entire Greek pantheon. Just look at the punishments. Pushing a rock uphill forever, have venom slowly dripping on your face for eternity, you have a bird eat your liver alive every day. That's all Zeus. Hades' punishments were like, solve this million piece puzzle or whatever. <laughs> Hera, who are you? I'm Zeus's mistress. Hera, do you have the slightest idea how little that narrows it down? <laughs> What's up, Zeus? We can see Zeus. That was one time, and it was a swan. <laughs> Don't know what you're saying. You're flying higher than a plane, and I'm not complaining. It's getting too loud. We'll figure it out. I'm out of my brain. Uh -huh. 360 degree reality Sunset beach I don't need HGTV I want the real thing Living off your dream Give me a couple thousands I'm a jet to Philippines Yeah, I'm 360 degree ability Vision in Lose the feel that there be reason Give circulation to the nation We are one Everything is fun under the Today, straight from my witchy camper Wearable spells Lavender and white sage essential oil, and it's ready. First I'll need a bowl, strainer, and cheesecloth. Now we're ready to filter. This has been sitting for eight weeks. The smell is amazing. We're gonna pour through the cheesecloth and strain, being sure to squeeze out all of the essential oil. And now to repeat the process to remove any additional plant material. It's time to bring it all together. Rollerball, Meet Amethyst. You got it. Amethyst charged lavender and white sage essential oil spell jar bottles that you can wear. Good for calming, relaxing, activating your third eye chakra, and even dream work. Not to mention they smell amazing and look beautiful. You never know what tomorrow will bring. Blessed be. Thanks, man. Get up! What is that? That's a, it's a pentagram. Yeah, why? You told me to satanize the house. I said sanitize the house. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. be parts of food and greed running in my sleep, I know. Kindliness, patience, and peace drawing from the deep on low. So, can you tell which one of us is Hikaru? Well, it's hard to say. You're identical. Many ladies have tried to tell us apart, but so far none have succeeded. That's the dumbest game I've ever heard of. Are you kidding? <laughs> oh my god.
from the two to the three to the four. Everybody drunk out on the dance floor. Baby girl ass go like she want more. Like she a woman, I ain't even no tour. Maybe cause she heard that I rhyme or core. Or maybe cause she Anybody here that was here before this house was built? Spaghetti? <laughs> Tell us your name. Apple Tater. Apple Tater? <laughs> so I went to Barnes and Noble today looking for books because, you know, most of what we do as witches is just fucking read, right? And uh, I'm wandering through the religion section and this chick who works there asks me, are you looking for something specific? And I was like, well, I mean, I'm just wondering if you have any religions in here besides Christianity. And, um, and she just looked me up and down and she was just like, you mean like paganism or witchcraft? Is it that obvious? Jeez. Down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelon rocks, where the watermelon rocks. If you go home, if you go home, just don't get caught, just don't get caught. But Doesn't it make you feel small? Five inches is not small, it's average size. I'd like to buy an owl. We don't sell owls. Someone told me you did. Who? I just fucking heard one. Shake my hand. Come on, boys. Won't you shake? A poor sinner's hand. Yes. Are you ready? Are you ready? Hello, my beloved witches and witchlings. Today we're going to be making some dandelion oil. Wash your flowers after you pick them. And after they're washed, let them dry out for a few hours. So just lay them out on a cloth to let them dry. Once they have dried, cut the bottom green part off so you're left with that fluff and put it in a jar of your choice. You don't have to do this, but I prefer to. So your jar should look nice and full like this, and then we're going to add in an oil. For this one, I'm going to be using refined avocado oil. I chose this oil because I like the way that the dandelion infuses with this particular oil better than the others. You can also use olive oil, vegetable oil, coconut, jojoba, whatever you prefer. Now you want to give it a nice stir and get all those air bubbles out. Once that's done, cover it with a cheesecloth and use an elastic to stop molding. Leave it in your windowsill for a minimum of two weeks. It's known for its calming effect, help with aching muscles and joints, and great for skin. Just to name a few. Everyone else has these amazing wands that are like carved and have crystals on them or staffs that are like completely decorated and beautiful. You want to see what I have? This is my wand. I do love her though. These are my favorite Hades and Persephone memes and I want you to enjoy them with me. So the cold weather gets here because Persephone is going back to her husband. Does that mean these random really warm days are where Hades fucks up and Persephone spends the night at her mother's until he gets his act together? Someone please get them some marriage counseling before global warming kills us all. Hades, I really like Persephone, but I'm afraid if I ask her out, she'll say no. Zeus, dude, I don't know what you're stressing about. Persephone would totally go out with you. You just gotta play it cool. Hades, play it cool. 
Got it. Hades, ten minutes later, kidnaps Persephone. Hades nudges Persephone awake at 4 a.m. Do you like me? I married you! Yes, but did you marry me as a friend or like a wife? Unclear. Persephone, I have decided I am in fact a snack. It's just that no one's hungry. Hades, under his breath, I'm starving. <laughs>
Cause if you mess with me, you're messing with my family You shouldn't mess with me, you don't wanna mess with me Cause if you mess with me, you're messing with my family Apollo, what's the first thing you notice when a man approaches you? Artemis <laughs> You love to have city Orpheus, you're in a city Orpheus, you're in a city Orpheus, you're in a city Orpheus Men in Greek mythology? Scoundrels, just terrible. Woeful social skills. Murderers, kidnappers, violent misogynists. Most of them never described as handsome, so we have to assume they were ugly. Narcissus? Unproblematic. Beacon of transformative self-love. King of the swear. Gay icon. Couldn't recognize his reflection, but neither can my dog. We are not holding that against him. Narcissus wrote this. I refuse to believe Narcissus can read. Persephone. Honey, I'm hungry. Hades. Okay, sweetness, I'm gonna cook for you. Anthotrity. Poseidon, I'm hungry. Poseidon. Me too. Do you want to go to McDonald's? Hera. Hey, Zeus. I'm hungry. Zeus. And what can I do? Dog. 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 Cerberus. <laughs> Today, I'm creating some cone incense, and this is my apple rose recipe. I have dried apple peels, rose petals, copal, and cinnamon. I use a mortar and pestle then to grind up all of the dry ingredients. So the copal is a nice powder consistency. Same with the apple peels and roses. I then combine the copal, rose petals, apple peels, and some cinnamon. In a separate glass bowl, I'm going to take the mixture and add some rose water and cinnamon bark essential oil. You want it to be the consistency of wet sand and form them into little cones. On wax paper, I let the cones dry out for 24 to 48 hours. And they look like this when they're all dried out. I take enormous pleasure in the fact that if I was alive in the 1500s, I would have been burned at the stake the second I opened my mouth. So how big are you? I'm 5 foot 10. No, I mean in bed. Still 5 foot 10 but sideways. Am I okay? It's just a scratch on your leg. Can I see? Unfortunately, the leg is in another ambulance. I'm a bad boy doing good things. Got a lemonade with chicken wings with a bad This is a jar of dirt. Yes. Is the jar of dirt going to help? If you don't want it, give it back. Huh. Then it helps. Coming at me, I wonder who throws it They can't see the vision, boy, they must be out of focus That's a real hot album, homie, I wonder who wrote it Oh shit Hades and Cerberus, right? I know everyone likes to think about Cerberus as just Hades' dog, but like Cerberus is a child of Typhon, the father of monsters, who I think was a sentient creature, so I think that makes Cerberus a sentient creature too. I mean, imagine, Hades, who's a good boy you are? Yes, you're my spotty boy, Cerberus. Patronize me not, son of Kronos, lest I swollen you all. Hades, well, it looks like someone isn't getting many steakies for Din Din. Cerberus. Wait, no, I was kidding. <laughs> if I was a hero, I would simply be happy. Rip to Achilles, but I'm different. <laughs> Hades, do you ever think about how your skeleton is always wet? Poseidon, I wish I never had, but thanks for ruining my life. Hades, don't worry, there will come a time when it's not. Poseidon, thanks! Even worse. <laughs> Athena, I sleep with a dagger under my pillow. Ares, weak, I sleep with a gun under my pillow. Hades, you are both pathetic. Ares, oh yeah, what killer weapon do you sleep with, Mr. Badass? Hades, Persephone. <laughs> What's your favorite color? Triangle. So what time were you born? When you open your third eye and start seeing spirits and auras? 
can I offer you a carrot reading? Uh, do you mean tarot? Pulling out my bag of baby carrots with runes carved into them? No. You're not into all that spiritual shit, are you? I'm no kitchen witch, but if you put sage and garlic powder in your mac and cheese, it will change your life. We're here for the cult stuff. Yeah, I don't wanna fall asleep, I don't wanna pass away I've been thinking of our future cause I'll never see those days I got a jar of dirt, I got a jar of dirt Girls, head, shoulders, knees, toes, don't know these hoes Face, lips, eyes, nose, camera, click, we pose Beat, mug, limp, wrist, V Okay, so there's this tarot spread you can do for yourself where you find the fool in your deck and the card under it is the source of your problems and the card on top of it is the solution to your problems. So let's find the... Fuck. Hi, I've been named Dennis is derived from Dionysus. That is all. This means Dennis. Dennis is absolutely the domain of the god of chaos and revelry. Anyone who gets really into Greek mythology either ends up worshipping the gods studying classics, gay, or somehow all three at once. Aries, anytime, anywhere. Peace was never an option. <laughs> Hera, damn this baby ugly, eats an off Olympus. Zeus, honey, where's Hephaestus? Hera, <laughs> wouldn't you like to know what other boy? <laughs> Zeus, Zeus, I love all my children equally. Aries, Athena, looks at smudge writing on his hand. A pettis? <laughs> Hephaestus' voice. Hmm, yeah, I love you too, dickhead. Zeus, um, it's Zeus. Hephaestus' voice. I know what I said. <laughs> the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Hera. Mother, Hephaestus. Hera. <laughs> Achilles. When I die, I mingle our ashes together so that we may be together for eternity. Historians. F is for friends who do stuff together. <laughs> Apollo, pretty sure my soulmate is a bag of sour gummy worms. Hermes, I just ate a whole bag of those, no joke. Apollo, you piece of fucking shit, that was the love of my life. <laughs> Hermes walking around, still disappointed, six hours after visiting an, an aquarium. Poseidon, what did you think a tiger fish was, Hermes? <laughs> Hermes, so you remember the plan if I ever get shot, right? Apollo, of course. Hermes, tell me. Apollo, in the case of you ever being shot as you fall to the ground, I am to sing, mm, what you say, no matter the circumstances. <laughs> Poseidon, what time does the judgmental express arrive? Hades, Hera and Zeus get here at noon. <laughs> the lightning round begins now. What is Joey's favorite food? Sandwiches. Correct. <laughs> Chandler was how old when he first touched a girl's breast? Fourteen? No, nineteen. Thanks, man. <laughs> Joey had an imaginary childhood friend. His name was... Maurice! Correct. His profession was... Oh, Space Cowboy! Correct! <laughs> what is Chandler Bing's job? <laughs> oh, gosh! This has something to do with numbers and processing. Well, and he carries a briefcase. Ten yeah. seconds. You need this or you lose the game. <gasps> it's, um, it has something to do with transponding. Oh, oh! Oh, he's a trans transponster! <laughs> How normal witches cleanse. You must light a bundle of sage during the night of the full moon. And how I cleanse. Better get your negative bullshit out of this house before I raise hell in this bitch! 
Persephone, you fell over and Dionysus looks over. Oh wow, you still call your father daddy, you're a bit too old for that, Persephone. Answers the phone, making I mean, call time with Dionysus. Hey, 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 he's Dionysus! <laughs> Me, you helped an old lady find her spectacles. Old lady, bless your heart, you were going to do great things for the kingdom of God. Me, a terror eater. <laughs> <laughs> witch, be like witch. Okay, I got jars, candles, spices, tea, anything else? Milk. We came for milk. <laughs> Spell to get someone to leave you the fuck alone, material salt. Throw salt at your intended target and say, stay the fuck away from me. This doesn't work. The first time repeated aim for the eyes. <laughs> I'm spiritual so I don't pull the fucking chakra. <laughs> Crystal banishing someone, any of them, you throw them hard enough. <laughs>up you garden witches i'm going to show you how i infuse my honey with different types of herbs i will be using a cbd sour diesel that has been decarboxylated you're going to let that simmer in the honey for a little while so that the oils release you're going to need a glass jar a strainer and herbs of choice don't forget to huff your lavender and then sprinkle it on your honey you're going to add some chamomile and then i remember that sour d is a little citrusy so i put in some baked orange strips that I did from yesterday and it's gonna taste amazing. I'm gonna simmer it for about an hour, take it off, let it cool down, and here you have it, your infused honey. You're gonna take your glass jar, put your strainer on top, and then you're going to pour your honey over the strainer like so. Don't forget to smush down your herbs to make sure you get all the honey out of them. And there you have it. You're gonna have amazing honey for your biscuits and your tea. Also, don't throw this away because I'm gonna show you what to do with it. not of love and light, you are not welcome here. Thank you for your presence, but it's time to go home. All right, buckos, you know the drill. Who's not supposed to be here?
You're not a witch. Sure I am. Witches aren't real, aren't they? Well, if you're a witch, do a spell. Fine. Well, aren't you gonna do it? I just did. Well, nothing happened. Wait. You call it really bad at darts. I call it freestyle acupuncture. That ain't racist. So I'm going to have to ask you to leave the bar. <laughs> Her memes. Do you ever just look at your life and go, I'm too sober for this bullshit? Do I know this every day of my life? <laughs> Do I know this? Am I high? Why the fuck is there a bear on my lawn? Aries defensively. What? Are you not into those types of dudes? What's wrong with bears? Do I know this? I meant the fucking animal, dumbass. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, ancient Greek plays are so old. How am I going to relate to the characters? But then, Do I know this? Doing everything wrong. Like that? <laughs> Dionysus. I can't describe it, but yet I'll tell you in a riddling way. Have you ever felt a sudden lust for soup? Hercules. Soup! Zeus of mercy, yes, 10,000 times. This picture is exactly why Dionysus is my patron. If there are any spirits trying to communicate with me, can you make the flame stop flickering? Can you- okay, thank you. Can you make it stop flickering for longer? Can you make it flicker again? Thank you. I think I'm losing my mind. Trying to stay inside the lines. It's like you're running in place. How you keep staying. Okay guys, I think I just came up with something that's kind of genius. So I've made what I'm gonna call a bay leaf burning station. So what I've done here is I've added pink Himalayan salt to a little container and what I've been doing is I've been putting a bay leaf in the salt and then letting it stand there while it burns and then crushing the ashes into the pink salt to let the ashes and the intention of what I put on the bay leaf that has now been reduced to ashes charge with the pink Himalayan salt. I don't know about y'all, but I cannot wait to see how this works, and I think it's a better alternative than just burning the ashes and throwing them out or using them for other things, because now they can be char- char- now they can be charged forever in the pink salt, you feel me? Woo! Now I'm gonna do it. Ooh. Yes, honey. Here's a fun fact for all you guys. Apparently, too much sodium can kill you. Um, on a totally unrelated note, I lick my salt lamp every morning because I'm trying to see if I can get to the center of it like a Tootsie Pop. Um, if anyone on here is a doctor, am I going to die? I just did an offering Hades and I use that to did this candle wax. Look at, are you fucking kidding me? It's on. Like, it's on. Absolutely no. Are you kidding me? It's not going out. Hades, I have to go downstairs. Bruh. Do I leave it put then? Okay, give me a little flicker if you want me to keep it going. But if you... Okay, okay. Okay, okay, I won't, I won't put it out, I won't put it out, I won't put it out. This is so sad, Alexa, cast a circle and burn some scene. 
Random witch, this spell requires grave dirt. That's cool and all, but did you ask the spirit if you could take it? Random witch, <laughs> what? Me, looks into the camera like I'm on the office. Me, a witch, may I offer you a good vibe in this trying time? When someone asks why you have a bunch of rocks and jars in your room, witchcraft. When someone asks why you have a bunch of tiny rocks and tiny jars in your pockets, witchcraft pocket edition. Christians, witches are creepy. They make like animal sacrifices and worship Satan, witches. I just love a good leaf. Tarot cards, you idiot, me, I'm sure you're right, but why? When your parents ask why you have so many mason jars. <laughs> when you're a woman living in the 1600s and you accidentally do math, townsfolk. Sickle. Sickle. Popsicle. Pop. Can you say pop? Pop. Sickle. Sickle. Popsicle. Thank you. I'll say goodbye soon. Though it's the end of the world. Don't blame yourself. So I couldn't film it when it was happening because it was a little too crazy and needed my full attention. However, um, that's Hades candle right there. And as you can see, I bought Persephone tea and <laughs> I sprinkled some of that tea into his candle. You can kind of see the remnants, not really, but there were two flames like dancing around each other. And then I got Persephone's candle right there. So then after that flame calmed down, the two candles looked like they were talking to each other. Like one would flicker, then stop, and then the other one would like flicker in response. It's kind of hard to see, but like Hades burned a hole through the candle so that the wax would touch the tea. And then it touched Persephone's candle as well. And it's in the shape of a heart. So needless to say, I think he's really happy. outside in the sun for anywhere from two to five hours and then you're good. So you don't do curses or hexes or anything? No, it's just like not something I'm like into I just like prefer not to so how do you stop people from fucking with you like if you don't hex or curse them oh I'll beat their ass you'll what I'll beat your ass so you won't use magic to fuck with people but you will be beat their ass yeah like I'll beat your ass any day of the week just <laughs> The first one fell off and it grew again, but curlier. What the, what the fuck? Do you, is there something you need from me?
Hey. Why does it smell like fireball in here? Fire what? It's cinnamon, you fucking alcoholic. So I'm a goblin, and I collect all kinds of shiny things. Such as Joker cards. And more dice for D&D than anyone should ever need in their entire life. And then I watched a TikTok the other day that basically said that goblins, especially in the D&D world, will never give up in a fight unless its opponent is bigger and stronger than it and fully dominates it. And that goblins are basically just really aggressive subs. So, if that doesn't prove that I'm a goblin, I don't know what the fuck does. Hi. Hi. I'm Dustin. I'm Robin. Pleasure to meet you. Uh, is, is she here? Is who here? Henderson. Random Pagan Facts Part 1. The three-headed dog of Hades, Cerberus, is actually a Gaelic name and a lot of people have been mispronouncing it. Since all the letters in the Gaelic alphabet have different sounds than in the English alphabet, the C in Cerberus actually makes a K sound, so his name would be Kerberus. But Kerberus, translated from Gaelic, means spot. So Hades literally named his dog Spot. It's time to take out the decks again. Find the moon and the sun in your deck and take them out and then give your deck a shuffle. Draw one card and this is whatever is eclipsing your life. Draw another one and that is how to fix your problem. This is the spread that TikTok took down earlier. Not 100% sure why, so I tried it with a different deck. Okay. There are flowers growing all around a massive animal inside of me and it's so ugly and I'm so broken and I'm so ugly. Okay. Sing. Do it. Bang. Start a riot. Sing. Do it. Bang. Start a riot. Sing. Do it. Bang. Start a riot. These are my favorite Hades and Persephone memes, and I want you to enjoy them with me. So the cold weather gets here because Persephone is going back to her husband. Does that mean these random, really warm days are where Hades fucks up and Persephone spends the night at her mother's until he gets his act together? Someone please get them some marriage counseling before global warming kills us all. Hades, I really like Persephone, but I'm afraid if I ask her out, she'll say no. Zeus, dude, I don't know what you're stressing about. Persephone would totally go out with you. You just gotta play it cool. Hades, play it cool. Got it. Hades, ten minutes later, kidnaps Persephone. Hades nudges Persephone awake at 4 a.m. Do you like me? I married you! Yes, but did you marry me as a friend or like a wife? Unclear. Persephone, I have decided I am in fact a snack. It's just that no one's hungry. Hades, under his breath, I'm Am I a lady, or am I a rat? Am I a rat? If I'm a rat, I'm a lady like rat. As a lot of you on here know, I don't stand for the Pledge of Allegiance for religious reasons. And I encounter plenty of ignorant American conservatives who say that it's not against my religion that they know nothing about, and that it's not a valid reason to sit. But I'm sure you're aware of the holiday St. Patrick's Day. You know the fun holiday where you wear green and drink all night? But do you know the man that that holiday celebrates? St. Patrick was a Christian bishop who came to Ireland to annihilate the pagan druids. He's often depicted ordering the serpents out of Ireland. These serpents represent Irish druidic pagans. My ancestors. He attacked them, killed them, smashed their heads into rocks, and disrespected all of their customs. On the pagan holiday of Beltane, no fire was to be lit before the sacred fire at the palace. But St. Patrick lit his own fire. He used this fire to symbolize his almighty god taking over Ireland and forcing the pagans out. The druidic pagans of Ireland were forced to convert to Christianity, and if they didn't, they would be killed or banished. So no, I will not be standing in respect of or reciting a poem that unites this nation under a god whose followers force my people to choose between their faith and their home. Wow, I didn't know it did that.
Welcome to Wonderland, we've got it all Potions and pastries that make you grow tall There will come a soldier who carries a mighty sword He will tear your city down, oh lay a lie, oh lord Oh lay a lie, oh lay a lord He will tear your city down, oh lay This is a brand new Polyphemus moth, and when they first come out, sometimes they crawl, and crawl, and crawl, and crawl, until they find the perfect spot to hang to pump up their wings. Now, it was around this point where we started to wonder if she had a deformed wing, as one was clearly unfurling a lot faster than the other. Slowly but surely, however, the left wing did finally unfurl to match the right. Both wings dried completely flat, and she ended up sporting an impressive six-inch wingspan by the end of it. I don't need to wear a face mask, and I don't need to practice social distancing, and I can go where I please. God will protect me. The gods and goddesses, more specifically Thor and Freya, always protect me and look out for me. However, if I don't wear my mask, wash my hands, practice social distancing, only travel for essential purposes only, they will come down on my ass like a ton of bricks. Witchy memes, part two, because they make me happy. Faye, Zizer, may I have your pronouns? Me, they, them. Sure, they, them. Faye, they, them. Thanks, me. Wait. Okay, it's that time. Show me what you looked like at the beginning of the decade. The fool. Versus the end. The hermit. Other witches, you can't put those two stones next to each other. They'll cancel each other out. Me, puss every rock I own together in a single bowl. Take care of each other in there when you're too poor to take your car to the mechanic so you try necromancy. Man, I wish I had a coven like that. Witchcraft, my favorite bits of this one. These wax bits are important. 10% of the herbs actually made it into the tiny jar. My plan This rock is important. Person pockets filled with rocks. Shit, I left the amethyst on the windowsill. Pillowcase also filled with rocks. 